from 44th Street in Camelback. This is the Arizona Daily Mix, and it all starts right now. You know. Welcome to the Arizona <laughs> Daily Mix. I am Brad Perry. And I'm Lexi Romano. Today on the show, we have a very, 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 very special guest. And you can catch him weekdays here on AZTV7. And who is it? Well, it is the man, the myth, the legend himself. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the show, Mr. Steve Wilco. <laughs> there he is. Oh, my goodness. Hello. We're going to slide chairs over. Good morning. Here. Nice see you. Good morning. Good yeah. seeing you. So, uh, and this is so awesome to have you here with us. So we're going to get everything set up. Uh, I'm so excited to have and, uh, you here. Of course, we brought out our Steve Wilkos yes, mugs. Look at I that. know. I, I, I love you. that. You know what? I don't even have one of them. Do you not? Well, you, you know can take what? this one if you want. You, you know, we're going to get you one. Okay. <laughs> so I know some people. Yeah, you yeah. Know. So we'll, I know we'll hook you up. Don't worry. Don't so, worry. Okay. I have to do this before we, we go any further is that I have a little history with Steve because we're both from Chicago. Well, I'm not originally from Chicago, but I was in Chicago. And when he was a police officer, he worked with the Wayans family that I worked with. Yeah. Oh. And so we'd see each other a little bit. And then lately we've been like doing Zooms. We've been yes. talking back and forth. Yes. So this I was is gonna awesome. say, Brad, don't tell me that when he was a police officer and you lived in Chicago, you got in trouble and Steve had to come to get. No, no. Um, <laughs> drink water at this time. Okay. Uh, I, let, I let him go. All right. You're, you're, you're a nice guy. You're a nice so guy. So this is great to have you. How you doing? Is this your first time in Arizona? No, I, I was here at the station, I think, about five years ago. Um, and we, we've been out here, and I came out, I was, was telling the story earlier before uh, the show, that I came out for the All-Star Game when it was here, I think, in 2012. And uh, me and my wife came out for the Super Bowl uh, in 2014. Oh, nice. So, we, you know, we've been out here, and uh, listen, it's still like 50 degrees back home <laughs> in Connecticut. Uh, so coming out here, it's a treat. And I yeah. I love the West. You yeah. Know. Well, we, we love having you come out here for us. And we love the show. You know, it's one mm -hmm. of our top shows here on AZTV7, which is really cool to have you here with us. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're going to have some fun this morning with you. Look, so it's not going to be like your show. This is going to be a different type of show. <laughs> but later on, we are going to get some more about him and, and about his show and everything. But right now, there's something that we do, and it's called Trending, Steve. Trending. Yeah, I love trending. Trending. Brought to you by Gerber and Jalal. This is where we travel on social media, the internet, or just some other wacky website that finds stupid things that we can talk about around the water cooler. Okay. Yes, we still have a water cooler here. I love water cooler. <laughs> yeah, don't you? I love it. So, all right, the first one up, since you were a police officer, go ahead and take away. Yeah, Lexi. so we're going to talk about this one. We already did touch on this one earlier in the week, but we're going to talk about this again because, Steve, we want to get your opinion on this. So, there was a gentleman who went out onto the field to propose to his girlfriend. Now, this is so sweet and lovely. <laughs> However, he gets tagged. Oh, I love it. So and yeah. we got to get your opinion on this. I mean, come on. Was this merited for them to take him down? Oh, yeah. That, I, I, really? love, I love that because that's like a, a license to kick ass. Right? Like, <laughs> you, you're running on the field. You know you're going to get thumped. Yeah. You know? Oh, my God. I, I, listen, first of all, what was he thinking? Like, it's, it, to me, he, it's, it's yeah. a corny way to propose. You're right. You're, a, you're like, what, 200 feet away? Right. And on the part two, there's players on the field, so they thought he was going to pull something out to attack them. You right. can't go on any, you know, professional yeah. uh, a sport stadium, and you know, go onto and the it field. says yeah. you're going to get arrested. Mm -hmm. And like that guy, they're not going to take you down soft. Yeah, they're going to take you down yeah. really hard. But hey, so I love it. The good news is she said yes. So they are engaged now. Well, it she worked. should reconsider. Yeah. That. Oh, no. he's, he's not too smart. Oh, <laughs> and guess what? Man. Uh, next week he'll be on Steve Wilkins show <laughs> talking <laughs> about it. <laughs> he'll be taking a lie detector test. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me set this up for you because uh, I guess I have to ask you. Um, back in uh, the 80s and stuff, did you have a white suit? Did you put on a white suit and you know why? Uh, white suit, no. No? Because I was in the Marines in the 80s, you okay. know, so I probably didn't even own a suit. Okay. <laughs> Just my Marine uniform. Well, <laughs> you can own this suit, which belonged to John DeVolta from Saturday Night Fever. Woo! Yes, it's going up for auction. Just a minute. I know who used to own it. Oh, did you? Gene Siskel. Get out of here. He, wow. he was a Chicago yeah. guy, did the movies. And when it went up for auction, Gene Siskel was the guy that bought this suit. And I, I think he paid, you know, like $50,000, maybe not even that much. But I got to imagine now, that's I like half a million bucks. 200000 oh, 200000 yeah. for it. That's yes. it? I feel yeah. like it should be more than that. This is so such an iconic look. I was guessing half a million. Me too. Know, this is such right? an iconic look. This you know, is, so yeah. I, you know, I was like 14 years old when that movie came out. And I, it was like... 
Everybody wanted to go see that movie. You wanted to be John Travolta. Right? so I, cool in that I took movie. dance lessons because of that. I was going to say, thank God there wasn't cameras rolling in my bathroom back then. Because everybody, you know, doing all the stuff that right? John Travolta did. Okay, did but I have to ask, have you seen the sequel? The sequel? There's it's a sequel. terrible. It's so oh, awful. It's terrible. Right? Yeah, we it's don't bring so it up. Awful. We, it's so awful. Yeah, you're right. We you're don't right. like Godfather 3. You know, stop I'd, I'd rather watch so Rhinestone Cowboy than, than, <laughs> yeah. than that sequel right there. Nobody remembers that. <laughs> oh, my or, God. Of course, or, or the, uh, what was the one that he did with uh, uh, Jane, uh, um, the dance one. Uh, what was it? The, 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 he was a reporter. What are you talking about? Stop? Uh, yeah, no, I'm talking John Devolta. Urban oh. Cowboy. Uh, Urban <laughs> Cowboy. And then, and then, no, the other one where he was the uh, reporter and she was the fitness person. Remember? It was like. Oh, like, yeah. I can't think of it. Right. But that was terrible, too. Right, there you go. <laughs> no. So, but would you would you want a white suit? Like, Would you wear a white you, suit on the show probably, like that? You, you know what? If, if back in 1978 when that movie came out and you offered me that suit, I'd been wearing it every day. There it is. <laughs> I love it. So, yeah, I you could rock the white suit, too. I think, I, you, I think oh, both of you guys. Totally we're I went to it now. We'll get you guys white suits. And we'll. We'll do a who wore it better I love of the it. white suit. Yeah. All right. Uh, Steve, we know that you have this thing where it's uh, Steve loves food. It's your foodie kind of person you are. So we, Steve Eats. Yeah. And so we're going to do a little Steve Eats ourselves in a segment we call Ooh. Let's Eat. That's oh, right. I love it. Let's yes. Eat brought to you by Why Cook. Eat local, fresh, and healthy. Check out whycook.com for that restaurant, food truck, or chef in your neighborhood. All right. Uh, so. This Steve, smells amazing. This is some things that we're finding out about Steve. One, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna give the secret away at uh, later on the show about what Steve loves and what we're gonna get him when he comes out here. But we're gonna talk beach house tacos because you love yes. tacos. I, I, I always said if I was on death row, tacos would be my meal. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. this is awesome. Yeah. Well, we have a couple here for you, and this is the famous beach house. It's right here on Camelback uh, Road, and a great place for tacos, all yeah. types, everything like that. So we're gonna go through a couple of these. I don't know if you. Want to taste? I don't know if you're if what's going on. I'll if take you're a bite or two. Well, okay, because that's what we, we have them here. They're fresh tacos. So we're gonna start with number one, which is down here. Down here. And so and what is that one? That's that is the holy chicken there. So Steve, we'll let this you go ahead is and chicken. start. Yes, uh, yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. We're good with red onions and queso. All right, we'll take so, a look at that. Queso fresco. Looks queso fresco. Amazing. All right, we'll do that. So okay, you well, can take that lime off there. Uh, I was gonna say maybe a little napkin too. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, paper towels, napkins. Do I have any down? Oh, I do. We do. All right, there you go. Do you, you don't really get to do this on your show like this, do no. you? So, there I'm you go. I'm impressed that you're doing this with this white Actually, shirt. Actually, that was the chicken one. There's that no, shrimp. shrimp. Oh, that shrimp. This is okay. the chicken. Oh, there we go. This is the shrimp. So they haven't flipped around. <laughs> All right, so now, are you a shrimp guy? Or what's, oh, tell me about that one. This is really delicious. You like that one? Is it spicy? It's very spicy. Ooh. Okay. It's got like a lot of flavor. Long. I mean, I could eat that all day long. Yeah. Nice. Is that what you do with uh, Steve's Let's, Let Steve Eats? Is that you go around trying food? You, you eat yeah, things? Yeah, so wherever we're at, um, you know, I do a lot of station visits and go to Chicago or wherever and I just try different things and it's fun, you know, because you get to taste uh, some really good food and different things. Yeah. Dave, eat food I was in Florida and we tried alligator and. No oh, way! Yeah. But we, okay, I will tell you later on what we have a surprise for you. So okay. something that we're gonna do. We get off oh, the day. Yeah, oh, yeah, look at you. That was that was the good. That's my daughter. Awesome. And uh, where is this? Where this is in Stamford, Connecticut, and they do a it's a bunch of food trucks, and there's all kind of things and. Um, we, I had my daughter in town, and so we just went around. We were eating all these different things. Yeah. So that, that's, and that, you know, as you can see, we yeah. had. Uh, is that the doses. fried mac and cheese? Is that what you guys had? And we had some fried mac and cheese. Yum. I forgot what that was on wow. a stick. Fried ice cream. Oh, that was a hot dog Ooh. on a stick. Hot dog on a stick. Dog on a stick. Always so, a good yeah. choice. I like it. All right. We all right, got right, a couple more. Let's try, more. Some, let's more try some more. Right, do you want to yeah. try a little shrimp one? Yeah, I'll try right, shrimp. Right, that one's shrimp. It's grilled shrimp with, uh, me, uh, what is it? Pineapple salsa. Mm -hmm. Mango and pineapple mm -hmm. salsa. Mango pineapple salsa. Yeah, Ooh. throw that on there. See how you're feeling. You're going to be full before oh anything. God. There you go. Before the show. <laughs> that's okay. Tacos at 9 a.m. Right, Look at that. That's that's a Chicago bite right mm. there. So, all right. What'd you think of that one? Okay. <laughs> I'm being honest, right? Yep. Go honest. Go honest. So, my two kids love mango. Love mango. Yeah. Mango, mango, mango. Mango's great. I don't like mango. The Oh, no. <laughs> to me, to me. I'm not a mango guy. Okay. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Okay, sorry. Right. That's good. It's all good. All right, no problem. All right. But so, the flavor profile beyond the mango. Okay. I can't get past it. All right. All right. Do you eat beef? Do you eat meat? Beef? Yeah. Yeah. Meat guy? Okay, this one is a you red chili. Think I got this big meat. <laughs> 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 right. not This is a uh, red chili sure. beef one. Um, so, give you a try on that one. Red chili beef? Yes. 
Sounds delicious. All right, try that one since we're giving you a little beef one. And then we're going to uh, jump over to a fried fish one. There's so much here and so much the beach house has so to offer. Many. You head over there, it's a great place. Uh, to enjoy. You've been yeah, over there, right? I have, yeah. I love that you can get the individual tacos. You can mix and match. You can get a shrimp one with mango, without mango, whatever you want to do. You can get the, the fish, the beef. So, the right, verdict how do we do there? Very good. But I'm going to say right now, that chicken's still blowing my mind. It's, all right, the okay. chicken is so chicken far is my, Okay, all right. So now we're going to jump over to number five, which is a fried fish one. So are you a big fish guy or? Well, you're in Connecticut. That's a, So that's where the show is, I'm right? an oyster guy. I love oysters. Oyster, oh, yeah. So okay. we got a great oyster bar next door to us here. Fuck Shocking. Right. Shocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. But we're in Arizona, so we're we got to put so this in a taco. Have, yeah. I was okay. going to say, how, how fresh are those oysters? <laughs> 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 I'm sure they're pretty fresh. It's a really nice place next door. But yeah, we, we got to fry up our fish and put it in a taco oh, because right, how's it's that? Arizona. Do you need another napkin? OK, you good? All right, ooh, he's thinking. Mm. Uh-oh. Yeah? He's deducing. What word do you use? Deducing. It's deducing. not bad, but the problem is they're all good. But this one. But this one is just. You're taking, wow. I mean, it's he so damn good. Good. He's chicken. Got, so right. we started out with the best one. We got the one. best one. And sure. we're going to hold it after you taste the best one. Wow. Oh, well, well, there it is. Now. Now I we love know. it. Um, where can they find the uh, Steve Eats at? On your Instagram and, and different places? Yeah, you go to stevewilkos.com and then we're, you know, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, just Steve Wilkos, you'll find it. We do the Steve Eats and it's a lot of fun. And, and then you also get to see some of my, my son, my daughter once in a while, people That's like awesome. saying that. So. Yeah, I love it. And, and so, these are from local beach house uh, right, right here. here in Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. And also we are actually live right now on uh, Instagram Live for oh, everybody. Yeah. So it was oh, there. So we're going to ask some questions, doing some fun stuff. So you got to go over to Steve. Uh, Instagram and AZTV, uh, uh, Instagram, everything. So we got a lot going on. Okay, we got to wrap right, up because we're not done, Steve, with you. We got more because. Oh <laughs> Go ahead, Lexi, tell yep, them what we we're got. We're checking out some fashion that's inspired by our beautiful state of Arizona. State 48 is here. Stay with us on the Arizona Daily Mix. <laughs> and welcome back to the Arizona Daily Mix. State 48 Apparel has taken over Arizona. And you couldn't have missed them because they were all over the Arizona Super Bowl. Oh yeah, and here to tell us about the apparel and give us a peek at some of their new line is Chloe Cleveland. Hey, Chloe. Hi Chloe. Hi guys, how are you? In here. Of course, thank you guys. So let's do a little history about this apparel company because it's mm -hmm. kind of interesting that it was just a couple of guys who said, you know what, we really want to represent the state we're from. What should we call it? Hmm, should we call it Arizona apparel, Arizona t-shirts, <laughs> anything like that? But they said, no, let's call it. State 48. Yeah, so a lot of people don't know that Arizona is the 48th state, so that is obviously the inspiration behind the name. I love it. And, and actually, they've helped a lot of school kids and parents because that question has been asked on test. Absolutely. And they're like, I wonder what it is. And they look down at the shirt they're wearing. Look down at their wearing. shirt and go, and so, no, <laughs> that's the right answer. So, yeah. this cool. so I have to ask you, you know, we had just had the Arizona Soup Bowl here. How great was that that you guys were part of that in a way you had a pop-up shop? But what was really neat, you opened it up to not just Arizona people, but to actually the world of a, uh, 80 Absolutely. Yeah, we were able to reach a ton of 48. Yes. That's another thing. Maybe I don't yeah. <laughs> we were able to reach a ton of new audiences with everyone visiting Arizona from the Super Bowl, and it was awesome that we were able to provide apparel for people to take something if they were visiting mm. memorable home with them from State 48 or if you live here just something awesome to remember that we were able to host the Super Bowl. Yeah. And you guys really specialize in like the tees and the hats, right? Correct. Yeah, we've got we're apparel for all inspired by Arizona, so we do t-shirts, hats, outerwear and a ton of other accessories as well. I love so it. So cool. We got a few things here on the block. Yeah. We're going to have a fashion show, but let's talk about these cuz this is kind of like inspired by our sons, mm -hmm. Correct. right? Yes. We do have quite a few Suns inspired designs. So this is one of our newest in celebration of KD joining the team. Nice. Uh, but yeah, we've got all different sorts of stuff here. Some hats, drinkware, pretty much everything. And Chloe, I have to have you turn around because I love this shirt yes. because for the ladies, this is such a like really cool design. It's kind of not the bright colors. It's a little more demure, but it has such a fun design on the back with just the nice kind of small logo in the front. Super, super cute, and it's so soft. So yeah. soft. I just touched nice. this and was like, oh, it's it? so soft. Well, what it. you're touching is something that's very important because we are talking opening day baseball. Mm -hmm. So what do we got? 
Correct. We did just launch four new Diamondbacks designs on our ah. website, so those are available for pre-order now, just in time for opening day. So I love it. All right, let's go. Let's bring in some models here that you have here. So come on over this way, Chloe, as we bring in our models. Our first one up uh, is wearing what type of? Uh, State 48 shirt. So this is our women's relaxed V-neck. It's inspired by the Phoenix Suns. Super cute. I love it with the colors. Love those colors. And it also kind of looks like it has the jersey material on the logo. Yeah. No, That's it's so really, fun. What a cool detail. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera, but it's kind of jersey material. I love it. Very, okay. very cool. Our next one. We've got Mr. Zach right here. He is wearing our SFE classic flag design. It's a staple if you live here in Arizona or if you love Arizona, you've got to have that in your closet. So, um, I do <laughs> see that design everywhere. That's a really popular one. I know, one. I do. I, actually, I see that shirt everywhere. That's what's really cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, all, all over Arizona, but not even just here. Like when I go like California somewhere, people just love that design and, and this look of a uh, state 48 sure. on there. So, totally. Okay, so now our we have model. Model, our next model, which I understand like literally it's been on the catwalk a lot of times. So <laughs> that is, look at that Woo, right there. We so. dance on Mr. Yeah, Steve Wolfos himself there. So what's he have on? So what many people don't know is that we do make more than t-shirts. So this mm. is one of our men's polos, which have been so popular this year, especially with uh, golf becoming such a growing hobby in yeah. the Valley. So we do have a variety of golf polos available in stores and online. I really, love it. Really, really cool. And I have to say, Steve is in heaven because when he came in, he's like, I just wanted to wear polos and shirts. Uh, so yeah, I'm not perfect. changing. This is where I'm wearing polos. <laughs> 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 and Chloe, tell us where everybody can learn more about you guys and find all these gorgeous designs. Yeah, you can learn more about State 48, see all of our apparel and the other services that we offer at state48.com and we do have three locations across the valley as well. I love nice. it. Well, thanks for coming in and, and wow, our, our supermodel looks amazing. I know, right? you guys look great. Everybody do another little spin for <laughs> us. Yes. Yeah. 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 Speaking of our supermodel, when we come back, we're going to talk more with the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. C. Wilkos, about his show that you can catch here on AZTV7. So come yeah. on back. Great, yeah, I really do love all of them. There's my dangling mix. Talk show host Steve Wilkos is usually the one asking the questions. Yeah, that's true, but today Brad and I are going to ask Steve a couple of questions. And we are, and also what we're doing, we're answering questions on his Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, live what they got going on here for us. Yeah. So, and we're going to be having some of that on ours, which is really cool. Well, they were just um, telling us that they have people watching from South Africa, from all over the United yeah. States. Yeah, watch his um, show. Thailand. So this is really, really cool. we got a, a real international show going on today. Totally. <laughs> and, and so we're going to talk to Steve and uh, about his show and about some things around because it's some very interesting things about how he got started um, and what's going on. But the show, of course, is right here on AZTV7. Mm -hmm. uh, not once, but twice we carry it, so which is really cool. Yeah, that's uh, which really, is nice. really awesome. So 2 and 3 o'clock, you can catch it right here on AZTV7 weekdays, um, where he actually helps people quite a bit with mm -hmm. problems and different things. A lot of people have seen him make this uh, different change I have, watching him grow up. Uh, which is really cool, so I love it. So, so let's, bring, let's him bring him back yeah, in here. Steve he had a chance out. to change. We've been having some fun with him. We Steve, got him to Steve Wilkos. That's the wardrobe changes in the middle of the show. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, got to run, I told you you were going to run around I'm here, didn't you, I? Man, more so, than and, and you got yourself a mug. I love it. So, I, mean, I love it, but we need nice that back games. after the show. So, uh, it's not in the budget. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. So you know, it's not in the budget to give that to you. So we got a lot going on. Steve, you know, this is really cool because you are, I'm going to say, you're kind of like the TV um, dream come true mm. because you started as really a behind the scenes security for Jerry Springer show. Yeah. Uh, and then you were brought in front of the camera and then you got your own show. So let's go back to a little bit of history of that, about you getting your start. You, you know, uh, I was working as a Chicago policeman. My dad was a Chicago policeman, so I was going to do that for 30 years, get my pension and retire. And so I went to work at Jerry Springer for one day just going to do security for one day and they liked me so they brought me back but it was all like you said behind the scenes I wasn't on camera mm -hmm. and then when the show took a different direction where the confrontation the young couples in love triangles then I became part of the show on accident right and nobody ever planned for that but I became part of the show because I'm, I was on stage so much yeah and actually my parents didn't know Jerry Springer didn't know the show and there was a one time there was these two gay guys constantly fighting so they said just stay on stage just sit between the two of them right yeah well then somebody told my mother like 
hey, your son's involved in a gay love triangle. Oh my gosh. She's like, what are you talking about? And she's like, yeah, so I'm on the Jerry Springer show. And my mom calls me up. She's like, what's going on? I go, I work security on the show. So, he was so, that is so funny. But yeah, and then uh, we did things called Steve to the Rescue, where I went out and I helped people. Yeah. And, you know, things like that. And then my, my role just kept growing on the show. And really how I got my biggest break getting my own show was Jerry going on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. So uh. they thought he'd be the first one voted off. But in the meantime, they needed somebody to do those shows because you can't shut production down. Right. Yeah. So I did them for a week. But then Jerry did really well on Dancing with the Stars. He was on it for like were you five surprised? or six weeks. Good for him, man. I was surprised. Surprised that he made that far? <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of us were. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, but Jerry's surprisingly athletic. And um, so he did really well. And I think people really like Jerry. And he yeah. comes across as a very yeah. nice guy. So uh, I ended up hosting like 30 shows. Wow. And when those shows aired, they rated really well. Well, then the next year, Jerry's like, hey, man, will you just fill in for me? Because I would get more money, yeah. and oh, he'd so get cool. to take a day off. So it was, yeah. well, I think some of the NBC said, hey, how come this guy doesn't have a show? <laughs> yeah. And it just, it, it but happened. It, you know, get a TV show is, is harder than winning the lottery. Yeah, so oh, then, totally. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Then I got to ask for, we just got asked this question, if someone out there wants to get into television, they want to get into on-camera work, what would be your biggest advice then? I have no idea. <laughs> because, I mean, you know, if you told somebody, will do it like I did, it become a security guard, you have no shot to get on TV what you show. did was you took the chances. You put yourself sense. out there. Yeah. Well, I'll say this. I worked my butt off once I got my foot in the door. There you go. When they asked me, when the show asked me to do anything, I did it. Right. And so they knew they could count on me. They knew they could rely on me. And I just went with it, yeah. you know? Cool. It, let's talk about the show, because one thing about you, Steve, is that you are a peacekeeper, because that's what you were. You're a police yeah. officer, so you're a peacekeeper. And I think that's what works with your show, is that you're not there to judge anybody. You're there to help people, and also to help it in a way that's not so much confrontational in, in, in different ways like that, even though it gets that way. Yeah. But you're there helping them in a peaceful way, and I think that's what comes across, that you're the regular guy talking with them. You know, and, and 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 I love that you say that, and I also think a big element is the simplicity of the message of the show. It really comes down to what's right and what's wrong, right? Like in this times, people want to make things very complicated and all this and that. No, we're, the, it really comes down to right and wrong, and like maybe we're an older generation now, yep. but our parents told us, don't do this, don't do that, yep. show manners, show respect, you know? And, and I think that's what I think a lot of people watch my show for because they just want to see the good guy win yeah. or the good woman win. Sure. And they want the bad guy to be punished and they want to, they want to be consequences. Yeah. And nowadays it seems like people that do bad things, there's no consequences. Right. People want that's to feel it. that justice. Yeah, yeah that's it. really important. We got Mr. Steve Wilkos with us. We're going to take a little break. We're going to come back, talk more with him, with the show. Got some more things to have fun with you with. So please keep it right here on the Arizona Daily Mix. Yeah, stick around. Well, we got a heavy This is the Arizona Daily Mix. Welcome to the Arizona Daily Mix. I'm Lexi Romano. I'm Brad Perry. And I'm Steve Wilco. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, we have a special guest on today's show. And it's dedicated to talk show Steve Wilco. Talk show host Steve Wilcos, <laughs> where you can catch here on AZTV7. I love it. And of course, you know what? It is Easter weekend. So I know. you got some things we're doing here on AZTV, right? Yeah, definitely. So you guys, it is Holy Week, actually. So it's not just Easter weekend. We got stuff going on all week. And here on AZTV7, we are proud to bring you the Good Friday service live from St. Simon and Jude Cathedral in Phoenix with Bishop Dolan presiding. That's going to be really great. Coverage begins Friday at 3 o'clock, so be sure to tune into that. And then they can go over to St. Francis and see you and yeah, your husband your time. Come, or come on down to St. Francis Xavier. I'll be there. Um, my husband and I are doing a 3 o'clock service as well on Friday. We also have um, Easter Vigil and, of course, Easter Sunday. There so you come go. On down. So a lot going on. And one thing that we have going on uh, tomorrow, and that is our Guardian Games. And you can join AZTV7 along with Sanderson Ford, Arizona Law Enforcement for the 2023 Guardian Games Benefiting Special Olympics of Arizona. It's tomorrow at Westgate District. Yeah. And we have so much fun doing this community project. It's great for everybody to come out. And we can't do it without partners like Ace Home Services, Simplify Heating and Cooling, and Mattamy Homes. 
And you know, you can get involved very easily uh, by either coming out and just cheering people on or making a donation at aztv.com. And Steve will be out there with us. Yeah, so you're I'll coming out because sure. it's supporting the law enforcement officers, which you were. And, yeah. And you know yeah. how big this is, right? First to the responders, community. You know, we always, you know, military, police, fire. I'll do whatever I can because I, I know how hard they work and how dangerous their job is. So it's uh, you got to support these men yeah. and women. I love it. So it's Steve Wilkos, uh, as we said, uh, is here on AZ TV Seven mm -hmm. uh, afternoons at two and three, and he's in town, and, and we're enjoying having him here and supporting. Um, and we're going to ask him some questions. And so uh, we want to jump into one about just a little personal about you, and that is pets, animals, children. We know you got kids. We yeah, I got uh, my daughter's up in Boston going to college. My son's a junior in high school, and I'm very proud of him. He's the captain of the football team, captain of the baseball team. Uh, I have a dog, Lucky. We've had him for about nine years. Oh, uh, what kind of dog? Uh, he's a Couton, like what? some a Couton. A yeah. Fancy <laughs> dog, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, me and my wife have been married for 23 years, and she's my executive producer. Uh, yeah. We're not so, on Springer. What, yeah, so what's the secret then? To a long-lasting marriage, we got to know. Well, I mean, we get along really well, and we don't stay mad with each other. You know, like we everybody gets mad at each other. Oh but yes. We try to limit it, and and we and then like we know like if we're mad at each other, there's something you need to resolve, right? Work out. right. Just yeah. like our show, right? Yeah. Like you got to yeah. work it out, and and we work it out pretty quick. And but you know, we, I, truthfully, we don't even fight anymore. No. Because we just like we know. Okay, he doesn't like this. She doesn't like that. Let's you know. Yeah. Let's go down that road. Mm -hmm. so, I love it. Mm -hmm. You know what, Steve? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead. I, I'm supposed to follow the script, but I don't because I need to do something here. Since <laughs> you're here, and I think you can help out. But I want to bring our, our executive producer out, Kelly. Uh, where's Kelly? Kelly, come on out here. Uh, Kelly and I, we feel like we've been having some tension going on, just you know, yeah. our relationship. And I th I think the reason why uh, that this is going on is that she feels that. I, and I'm gonna say me, forgot that today's her birthday. Oh, uh, how could you? It's <laughs> today's birthday? Yeah. So, nice if you could come. So yeah, <laughs> so I wanted, I wanted All the like, how do we resolve you. this? That I did not forget about her birthday. The reason why I did not do any celebrations is because she has been giving up chocolate, what she loves. So I wasn't going to tempt her with cake or anything until after <laughs> Easter. Yeah. So am I right or wrong on that? Thank you. Yes, you're, you're, you're wrong. You're am I wrong? You're wrong. <laughs> oh. You're totally wrong. First of all, I'm gonna give you a little secret. Always listen to the executive producer. <laughs> I see too much. I see too much talent. Say like think that they're a producer. No, we're the, we're the talent. We're the host. They're we do what the executive charge. producer yes. wants us to do. Yes. The mother Thank show. You. That's the best birthday gift you can give me. There you go. Happy birthday. <laughs> so, so, so I was wrong in this. I should have some Yes, yes so, of course. Yeah. 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 Wow, Steve. Thanks for that. Thanks for that right there. Steve won't come back after the birthday. Hey, my second producer might be watching. Steve will be back anytime. Happy birthday, Kelly. Thank you. Happy birthday, Kelly. But see, that's what our show's all about, yeah. is, is of course, what we do is, is have fun here. But what you do is also uh, very important in that, again, we talk about... And I'm uh, not joking, though. Yeah. When I'm on stage, my wife, she directs the show, and I feed off of her. And, and there's times like, like, I don't want to do that. And she's like... Just do it. This is what's going to work. And I do it, and she's right. So, Oh, you and I are going to talk at the break. Yeah, you got to listen to your wife, and you got to listen to your executive producer. And if they're the same person, then you really got to listen to her. Yeah, so she right. definitely knows what she's talking Stick about. Stick around. When we come back, uh, I visit a, a new awesome place I love. It's called the Raisin Emporium. And then we might have a little gift for Steve. So oh, I like Stick that. around. <laughs> Welcome back to the Arizona Daily Mix. Now, Lex, I have to ask you, does your husband shave? He does, yes. Does he, does, now, does, what kind of, sh does he use a... Uh, he a, uses uh, an electric razor, and I'll he? tell you a secret. I use it to shave his back. Okay, all right. Well, wow. <laughs> because you got to get, it's not just the face. you got to make sure all of the areas are cleaned up and trimmed up, right? All right, well, guess what? Well, I found a place, actually, maybe to find the right razor oh. to shave his back. Okay. Check this out. <laughs> A lot of people collect their great-grandfather and grandfather watches. But have you ever thought about collecting your great-grandfather or grandfather's razor? Well, there's a place that can help you restore them and start your own collection. It's the Razor Emporium.
Okay, meet tall Matt, or Matt, who is the founder of the Raisin Emporium. And, and Matt, this is really cool because this all came about for your love of razors, right? right? Yeah. So, and, and how this all get started? You know, uh, years ago, I was looking for a better way to shave like anyone else, and I was tired of the cartridges and electric razors and razor bumps, and someone said, you should try a vintage double-edged razor. So, got my car, went down to an antique store, and found an old Gillette razor. It's all beat up, and I'm like, how can we make this look better? And it just set me down this path of fixing it and restoring it and getting into the shaving creams and brushes, and before you know it, You've got a huge warehouse, and you got a bunch of people, you know, restoring razors for you. So I don't. It's just, it's crazy. I love it. I love. Okay, there you go. You said about restoring razors yes. because again, I've seen my grandfather's, my great grandfather's, just sitting there. It looks like junk. You're ready to throw it away. Yep. But no, you actually bring it back to life. Yes. And bring it back to the value that it is. Right. That's right. You know, uh, back in the 50s, 60s, Gillette was making razors that were such a high level of quality, stamped brass, American made. And it's so sad when you see these, like you said, in the junk drawer, beat up disheveled, the plating's gone, it's all bent and broken. We can take those and put a brand new lease on life, we can polish them, replate them, put them back to factory spec, and you've got something that's incredibly well made and it's going to keep on being working for you today. Yeah, and you do all this right here right in here. here. So run really quick how you actually restore one. Sure, so we start by taking the razor, we take all the original finish off and we're going to polish the pieces and then it gets plated in our laboratory, put a brand new coat of nickel 24 karat gold or rhodium on it, Put it back together, send it back to the customer. Wow, and it's all kind of like a science back there, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's like a science lab. If you've seen Breaking Bad, you like chemistry. That's what we got <laughs> here. It's all chemistry. It's all cool. Um, and it's it's honestly, I had no background in this. I, I've, I've, but I've come to love chemistry now and science. I have a background in business, but you know, I, I saw a need in the market. I saw this whole, no one else was doing this, so now we're doing it. I love it. Okay, so that is, of course, restoring and taking care of yeah, the sure. old ones. But if you're into collecting them and starting your own collection, you you have all this different type of razors here and you teach people about them which is really cool, cool. but also to the point where you start your own line right. of razors called Rex. That's right. And so, Rex. But, but what I love about this is that <laughs> you really started to see what people needed, and yes. you have an adjustable one, which is kind of interesting, don't, aren't, don't you? Yes, yes. So, um, you know, a, a lot of people on the market kept on asking me, they said, Matt, you've got all this background in restoring. What if you made your own line of razors? So, we started another company called Rex, and it kind of stands for the Razor Emporium Experience. All the experience of 10 years of restoring these, and now we're machining these here in Phoenix, Arizona. We do all the laser and assembly work, and now people around the world can buy Rex razors, and it is something very unique in the market. Stainless steel, American-made, adjustable, not, no one else does this. So, And then they teach you about, of course, shaving, which is That's so right. important. And one thing I've learned, uh, and that is the slanted uh, oh, razor, yes. which is kind of interesting. Tell me a little about that really quick. You know, it's kind of the idea of the guillotine. Uh, I know it's, it's a crazy thing to think about, but the guillotine had this you know, kind of unique way of cutting on an angle, and people back in Germany in the 30s thought the same thing. If we cut the hairs on an angle, it actually is a cleaner, more comfortable shave. So now we have an adjustable slanted razor. Very, very cool, very unique. Yeah, well, one thing that you have to understand, people, about the razor emporium that it's the only kind in the world. That's right. Because not only do you have the razors, but you have, of course, all the shaving needs people have yes. from some of our local companies, That's but true. also companies across the pond, too. That's right. We have we have our own line of products we make in-house. We have stuff that's made, in, like you said, in Casa Grande and, and, and Chandler. But then we import stuff from Italy, from Spain, from Portugal, from England, from Germany. We import stuff from around the world. And this is the only place on planet Earth that brings all these competencies together, the restoration, the manufacturing, Manufacturing our own razors, all the shaving creams and aftershaves, the brushes. Nowhere else does it all under one roof. Razor Emporium. I love it. There it is. Also, if you are trying to figure out what's the best way to shave, he has an online uh, YouTube, course, channel. YouTube channel that oh, you can yeah. check out. But the other part, too, is just stop in and, and check. When you get in here, you're going to be like me, like a kid in a candy store if you're into shaving, uh, because they have the brushes, they have the razors, they have the powders, they have the soap, they have everything you need right there. But what I love, too, is that I have a son now that him and I are going to start having this as our way of collecting things and of course sharing them. Dude, it's so cool. It's something you can pass down, like you said, to your kid. It's something you can also use the past. You can use grandfather's razor. And there's nothing else. You know, you got a nice pair of glasses. Maybe grandfather's old glasses don't fit. Maybe his old pants don't fit. His old shoes are broken, but his old razor can be brought back to life and you can use it once again. There it is. Tell them how they can find the Razor Emporium. You can come down to Razor Emporium. We are at 37th Street in Washington. You can find us online at RazorEmporium.com and all social media. Just search Razor Emporium. We're going to come up. I like it. All right.
man, I'll tell you, uh, that is just the most incredible place. And we have Matt here himself, yeah. the Razor Emporium right, right there. And again, Matt has a beard uh, when he owns the razors, but the reason why is that you have a YouTube uh, channel. Yeah, for our YouTube channel, we're kind of showing people how to grow a beard. So I'm about two months in, maybe one month left to go. And how to trim them and get them right. How to get it all right, yeah. So, yeah. And, and Steve, we know that you, you shave, so which is really important. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I have to shave all the time. But <laughs> nobody wants to see me with hair. I was saying a couple years ago, I let it grow out, and we let the fans vote, and yeah. overwhelming, they're like, shave. Well, you know, you being here in Arizona, as I guess we want you to leave with a little gift here, so I thought for sure the Raisin Poirier would be the best for you. So oh, what would you bring you. him really quick? Man? I brought him a, a traditional Edwin Jagger razor made in England, double-edged razor. We brought him a shaving soap that we make in-house, old school. Wow. Smell old that. Old school, I love Smell that. Smell that. That's going to just blow your mind. Oh, I want to eat that. Yeah. <laughs> we brought you even a traditional brush, so if you want to you know, whip that up into a lather, you got a nice badger brush and here. And I was saying, this is like, this is how my dad shaved. Right? Back yeah. The day. yeah. So now you shave. It's a whole event. We, we just brought you all the goods. So you're, you're ready to do this for real now. You can start double-edged shaving at home. Uh, I, I, gotta come, I gotta come and do the show every day. Get all these nice shirts and shorts and stuff. All right. Well, all right thank you very much. Thank yeah. you, Steve. We're not going to get you nice stuff. We got some more things for you. Yep. We have Kilo River Casino coming up after this, so stay tuned for more mix. Casino Resort is gearing up for a busy season and they're kicking it off with events all month long. From concerts to foodie events, they are having something for everyone. And joining us from the Gila River Casino is Danielle. How are you doing? Good. Good morning. Thanks for having good me. Morning. Good to have you here. Last time we were out there, we were talking, of course, Arizona Super Bowl events going on mm -hmm. out there. So much to do out there, even without the big games or any events going out there, because you guys have a lot of gaming going on. But I have to say, I like the little area where you can play golf. <laughs> oh, yeah, the top golf. Yeah. I know. It's, you know what? You can show up to our resort at any time of the year, and we we'll always have events. Like you said, it doesn't have to be Super Bowl. It doesn't have to be anything. We're just always super, super busy, and this weekend is no exception. Yeah, this weekend, it's Easter weekend. Yes. And, of course, a lot going on, which is kind of like kicking off uh, almost like the summertime in Arizona because there's pool parties coming, yeah. all kinds of stuff. What's happening this weekend? So this weekend we're super excited and it, it is kind of like our kickoff to summer. So this weekend we're going to have the Gym Blossoms on Saturday. Ooh. So it's going to be a concert partnered with the Coyotes, which is really cool. And then Sunday we'll be having Easter brunch at our beautiful rooftop steakhouse. And we only have brunch on Sundays, but I tell we only have it on Sunday. So I tell people like make sure you get your reservations because we get booked up because it's it's a really nice place for brunch. It is, and you and even if you're just going to have some cocktails, evening times or anything like that, the view is amazing because you look out on the reservation and, and yes. out across that beautiful landscape there, which is nice. And there's not a bad seat in the house no. up there at all, which is really nice. Right, it's stunning. You know, people, you know, they don't realize the view that we have back there, and there's just an endless amount of desert and this. There mountains it's gorgeous out there I like it. and yeah. then you have the betting lounge which is really cool so that is awesome to go in that I mean that is just like a Vegas betting lounge it's amazing yeah so we're excited because this weekend's the Masters so this is we're gonna be really busy with people in there but our bet MGN Sportsbook is so fun you know people don't really understand what it is till you get there to actually experience it with people watching games and eating and drinking and the atmosphere it's so fun you know March Madness just ended and it was wild in there we were so packed you know people had to make reservations to get a seat but it's fun you go in there you can place a bet you can ask people questions and just hang out it's, it's a good time it's really cool and, yeah. I, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get in trouble I always do with this but when I went in there I didn't feel like I, I it says was in Arizona I felt like I was stepping into a the Vegas Strip inside the uh, casino because you have these monitors, the music, everything's going there, and it's just so awesome. And that's exactly what we want you to feel. So last year we had our $180 million renovation, and that was the idea behind it. We want you to feel like you're in Vegas. You don't have to drive to Vegas, just come in your backyard. And the biggest comment we get is when people come in who've never been before, they're like, oh my God, like this is stunning. Like this is gorgeous. People have no idea. So we want people to have that Vegas feel. And I'm so happy that you felt that when yeah. you walked in there. It was awesome. All right, Danielle, here we go. Now, people, get your pen and paper ready. I don't know why I'm saying that. Or just start getting on the website <laughs> because uh, we're talking summertime pool parties, cabanas, yes. staying there for the weekend. And that's what's going on right now. You're saying, let's get in. You got great deals going on. Right. So our pool parties start in May. 
Um, we haven't announced our, our lineup yet, but we have pool parties the last Saturday of every month from May through September. You know, last year we had some really big name DJs and, you know, we have staycation deals. So come out, come to the pool party. We'll give you a wristband um, just to have a good time. But before we start our pool parties, we have concerts for the next few weeks. You know, we have Calexico, we have the legendary um, Wailers, um, we have the Whispers. We kind of have like a different genre of, you know, music for everyone to, you know, come out and check us out. Yeah, and, and you have to watch there, of course, events coming up because you'll never know because I mean we had Cardi B out there. The Beach Boys the Beach just Boys announced, announced they're coming. I mean you got yeah. everything going so which is awesome. Yeah. So uh, it has started the staycations, the fun at Gila River Casino and Resort. Yes. So let them know the website. Visit us at Play at Gila. That's it. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Thank so you I'm looking for forward. Me. I got to come up for one of the pool parties, okay? Yes, absolutely. So all right, there you go. All right, hey, come on back. We got more of the mix right after this. I'm so glad you chose Arizona Daily Mix to put a smile on your face. And we have to thank, of course, Steve Wilkos Yay. for spending the morning with us. And uh, Steve, how'd we do? Did we okay? I had a blast. The food was great. I got some nice gifts. You guys treated me really well. I love coming to Arizona. I like it. And I had this big meal set up for lunch at this, like, literally a seven-star restaurant. But I said, you know what? I want to take them to a ten-star one. So we're taking your favorite place, Jack in the Box. I am <laughs> so excited. I told my staff, I said, the one thing we got to do when we're here, Jack Those in the Box. Tacos. Oh, wow. tacos. Well, you are also going to spend the tomorrow with us because we're going to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you tune in to tomorrow's show because we are going to be out at the Guardian Games tomorrow live, hanging out, checking it out, and Steve's going to be with us. So Awesome. So don't forget, you can catch Steve Wilkos uh, twice here on AZTV 7, 2 and 3 o'clock, and please check them out. So go fire up that computer, head over and get some free stuff at AZTV.com. Have a good day, and remember to share that smile. And share those tacos, because uh, <laughs> I gotta go over and try some of those. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not, but no, no.